Hi everyone, this is Brandon here and welcome to my next episode, day 27 of my Let's Clash series. So let's start the day by getting some gems from the tree. So then after that we proceed on to going ahead to doing an upgrade, upgrading my gold storage which will take 12 hours for the upgrade to complete to the next level. And then after that going ahead to do a raid by finding this 282,000 gold available base. This Town Hall 9 is very high in loot and especially when the loot is all on the outside inside the gold mine so I'm just focusing my troops on the gold mine and a little fear on the left side the part there whereby the troops uh, attack the elixir collectors first and then they went for the gold mines but not to worry they're gonna take out the gold mine eventually so we're going ahead to try to um, take out the Town Hall because the Town Hall is rather exposed and also there's another gold mine over there so just trying my luck to go ahead to take it up. However, there was the king on the left side and the queen on the right side. So I was pretty certain that the queen was going to take a shot on my barbarian when they go closer. But uh, especially when the wizard, their range is also shorter. So when the queen took a shot on the wizard and then uh, the queen got taken down by my archers and then the archers, they all went down to take out the tower. Hall. So getting the one star and getting the huge amount of loot. So going ahead with this next attack with a lot of the gold exposed, in fact all the gold was exposed inside the gold mines on the outside on the right side. So this is like a freebie free base for me to go ahead to steal all the loot of 200 over 1000 gold available. So definitely this is a neat find that I really love to find whereby I don't really have to spend too many troops to uh, take out the whole entire base or in fact uh, spreading my troops around the base just focusing at one spot. So uh, this guy was pretty nice enough to put his uh, gold mines on the outside. Maybe this guy has a uh, quit playing clash but he decided to put his collectors on the outside to give people uh, the loot but uh, putting his elixir collectors on the inside so maybe he wanted to uh, train some troops to donate to his clanmates or whatsoever. So going ahead to watch one of the defensive replay on my uh, base so with the same layout but uh, with level 1 and definitely low level defenses gonna see how uh, my base is gonna fare against this guy using some healers and also some giants level 3 giants and level 1 uh, healers they are pretty uh, okay to use not too strong but also not too weak but uh, what I feel this guy uh, forgot to bring would be some wall breakers having some wall breakers would uh, help him a lot especially on the top there now you can see the wiz wizards are gonna go ahead and take out the giants giants are gonna go down really quickly by the splash damage of the wizards and especially with level 6 wizards in my army in my clan castle they're gonna take out the, the giants really quickly and only level 3 giants they don't have enough uh, hit points to tank the splash damage the huge splash damage from the wizards so eventually my uh, wizards they went down and then the healer is, there, is just healing the giant over there uh, not too many troops left for him to try to take out my base so now he has only stole like 4600 gold let's see what is he gonna do about it whether is he gonna get more gold or more elixir or, or whatsoever so dropping his clan castle which contain a level 4 dragon which is a really nice uh, clan castle for him to receive but my wizards went ahead to take out the dragon and then um, carrying on now with the next defense um, this defense is a rather bad defense bad on my side you will see why later so now this guy is using mass dragon mass dragon is really the um, attack strategy that a lot of people use on my this base why so is because my air defenses they are level one so having two air defenses at level 1 trying to define my base is really a, a headache for me. So um, it's not to worry. I mean, like what I say, if this guy is going to 100% my base and steal all the loot, I just have to do one raid or in fact just two raids to get back all the loot that I've lost. So going ahead now, you can see he's using all the dragons. It's a very nice mana dropping in fact even a heal spell to heal up some of the damage done by the air defense. The level 1 air defense on his dragon. So a really smart move to go ahead to use mass dragons on my base but yeah I mean it's a nice find for him it's not as if he chose my base but uh, it could be a revenge we will see how later I mean um, it depends on whether I might able to revenge back on him so after that I realized that I couldn't revenge back on him so he revenged me so he was kind of preparing to attack my base with those mass dragons it was really smart of him to actually use the revenge button but I don't use the revenge uh, to do any of my attacks because I do not get bonus, that's one. And also I don't really uh, fancy using revenge. So now going ahead to do my own raid. So as you can see this guy with 300 over 1000 gold available. 
So definitely if I just steal half, I'll just recuperate whatever that I lost from that mass dragon and attack on my base. So not to worry, we're gonna definitely steal at least half from the base because the gold storages they are very empty. So just focusing on, on the gold mines, gold mines they were very full. And also the town hall is outside. Taking the town hall uh, will allow me to win the raid. Winning the raid will also let me get a few a little bit of bonus. Bonus will also uh, accumulate to loot. So that's what I really like about this uh, new bonus loot system. Last time when I uh, started playing Clash in early uh, 2013, there wasn't such thing as league or bonus or whatsoever. So having a bonus league right now, it really helps to boost the economy of a uh, clash in terms of uh, the resources for gold elixir and also uh, dark elixir so a lot of people who farm in champions they get a lot of loot like last time when the before the loot bonus was updated it was at 120,000 gold and elixir whereas now they have increased it by 50% which has increased to a total of 180,000 gold and 180,000 elixir I mean if you think about it you just have to do one raid just sniping one tower in champions and then you will be able to get like 360,000 gold and elixir that's like almost uh, getting 10% or more than 10% of um, the amount of loot to upgrade a level 9 war to a level 10 war which costs 3 million gold so that's why you just have to snipe like uh, around 9 town halls and you will be able to get like one of your wars from level 9 to level 10 um, but I feel that farming in champions you need a lot of skill that's why and also sometimes due to the clouding or whatsoever it takes quite a while to find a raid but uh, nevertheless it's of course also time consuming and also effort taking to find raids at lower league levels however I find it more fun to snipe town halls and also at the same time find this kind of huge raids in uh, such a low league uh, in champions I do have to use my heroes um, especially if I want to get the win if I'm gonna budge and uh, get the 50% that is why I do not uh, go to champions league to farm but nevertheless I will still try to go ahead to farm in high masters or even a uh, low champs to take a look at whether the farming rate over there is better than farming at my usual um, trophy range but we will see how I mean I'm really not too sure because I have not tried farming at low champs using a uh, budge as uh, I've heard from some people that they have farm been farming over there and it's been really awesome but personally I have not tried but uh, I will see how once I get this account to like a, a level 7 budge and maybe uh, with some uh, high level wall breakers I might try it over there and now go ahead to upgrade my elixir storage because it just takes 30 minutes and I don't want to take uh, my just 30 minutes to farm a little bit before I go to bed so uh, going ahead to do this uh, raid as uh, with 300 over the thousand go available on this town hall 8 definitely gonna go for it but some of the loot are inside the ghost storages so it's not easy to go for the ghost storages especially when there are two wizard towers defending on the top over there and uh, in front of the wizard tower there are actually like a four tiled spacing so I was afraid there was a giant bomb but I took the risk to try to go for the storages as the, like there was half the amount of the loot available inside the ghost storages so in the end my barbarian king wasn't uh, too strong enough to even uh, take some of the damage from the high level cannons and I uh, couldn't even go into the core of the base. So going ahead with the next upgrade, now as you can see my elixir storage is completed and I'm gonna do another one hour of raiding. So in this one hour I managed to find some uh, really good loot and of course finding this 290,000 gold available uh, raid on this town hall 9. So a lot of the gold are on the outside so it's very easy to go for the gold. So just a few seconds, less than a minute, we will be able to get all the gold from the gold mines. So, but on the top over there, I had a little problem uh, getting the gold mines because uh, my troops uh, got taken out really quickly by the mortar. But not to worry, I do have my barbarian king and also some uh, minions to go ahead to take out the gold mines, and they won't be attacked by the mortar because the mortar can only attack ground troops. So, going back to my base with the one million loot that I've uh, gotten, going ahead to upgrade more walls, and then just slowly counting my way to have a remainder of. 180,000 gold because I want to get another new defense which is the third level 1 wizard tower so definitely getting a new wizard tower is going to be very nice I really uh, love the wizard tower a lot because the splash damage that they do is really high so uh, I accidentally uh, 
didn't calculate my goal properly so I was uh, short of a little bit of goal I went to do a raid on a single player map and I got 2000 uh, goal from one of the map and then eventually I got enough uh, goal and I upgraded and got the wizard tower which will be available in 12 hours time so yeah my wars I've gotten 48 wars to level 8 so we'll be progressing my way a bit more so now as you can see my profile I've uh, completed the goal grab of 100 million goal uh, stolen so yeah that's my very first uh, achievement that is completed three start for my resources of farming um, achievements so i have to work on the elixir escapade and also the heroic heist which i'm uh, really longing to try to three star it as i really love to farm and of course uh, farming is really my uh, specialty and i really uh, want to get those uh, three achievements done first so going ahead, uh, I'll definitely show you guys more reads tomorrow and also the subsequent uh, episodes. So hope you guys enjoy it. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.